everyone, it's Jen. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a bottle opener. We're using a cedar picket as the back of the project. And then I have just some extra material, um, some thin material, probably like um, 5 8 material that I'm using for the little box to hold the bottle caps, okay? So the back part, the cedar picket, which is a six inch cedar picket, which is actually five and a half inches wide. Um, it's 14 inches long or tall, I suppose. And then these smaller pieces that make up the box, they are, the width of them is the width of the cedar picket, which is five and a half inches. And the box itself is five inches tall. And then those smaller side pieces are just cut at two inches to um, bring out the box a little bit to keep those bottle tabs um, held in there after you pop the top. The top of it is uh, the bottle opener itself is just something I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a horseshoe and I painted it black. I'm actually going to paint all this here in just a minute once I get it together. So I assemble the box with wood glue and my little um, nails and then I'm gluing the box to the back of the project to that picket piece and I let it sit there for a second and then once it's kind of dried and set up then I turn it over and I put some nails in it to secure it a little bit better. I'm going to spray paint the whole thing black. I guess I didn't spray paint the whole thing. I didn't spray paint the, the back of it but I spray painted the front of it and then I went in with some gray latex paint and just gave it a coat all over sanded it down till it was um, to my liking and then i'm going to go ahead and attach the bottle opener with some screws so i just align it by eyeballing and then i'm going to put four screws in it two at the top and two at the bottom just make sure your screws aren't going through the back of it too terribly if they go through just a teeny tiny bit because that picket fence material is kind of thin you know that's no big deal because you're not going to really be doing anything to the back of it but just make sure they're not going through a significant amount. Now I did cut out some graphics on my Cricut. So these are just, um, this is just vinyl material that um, I created the graphic for. It says, whiskey for my men, beer for my horses. And I attached that. So now we're going to attach the hanger. I did make one previously and I used those um, little hangers to do that. And then I attached some wire to the hangers. I think that was a little overkill. I didn't need to use those hangers. This is not a heavy project. And even if the bottle caps, you know, stay in the little box, that's not gonna be heavy either. So it's not something that needs a heavy duty hanger. So what I decided to do on this one instead is just to take some screws and um, I attach them just so enough so they would stay, the screws that is. And then I grabbed some 18 gauge craft wire and spun those around the screws and then I tightened the screws so that the wire was secure and then as you can see I bring it around just enough to have some wire at the top to hang it by I wrap it around the screw secure that second screw and then I'll go ahead and cut off that extra wire and that's plenty enough to use to hang this you don't really need those hangers all right, so that's pretty much the end of the project. And this is something you can hang in your house. You can give it as a gift. It's a cute little project. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.